everyone, DCF here. I would just like to start us off by saying that we're 1-0 and fuck the New York Giants. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the Giants fans out there. All week last week we were talking so much shit about Oh, Zeke's playing? Oh, good. Now the Cowboy fans won't have any excuses after we beat him. <laughs> but then as soon as we blow, you stupid brain-dead motherfuckers out. <laughs> we, didn't have o we didn't have Odell. We didn't have Odell Beckham. Dude, calm the fuck down. We didn't have Odell Beckham. Oh, okay, so it's okay when you do it. Okay, kindly fuck off. Anyways, going up against the Denver Broncos. Uh, you might not be seeing this video until Thursday. Uh, that's probably because, you know, the Broncos, they played on Monday night. And, you know, I like to watch both the Cowboys and the team that we're facing against the next week. But I promise, I, um, I, I tried, I tried, I, I fucking, I fucking tried to watch as much as I could, as much as I could handle. Fucking hell, those commentators were so fucking bad. When I heard Beth Moen's, uh, you know, commentate, you know, college games, I genuinely fucking thought that she was a guy. Is, is she, is she purposely trying to sound like a guy? She just sounds so extra. It sounds like she's not using her natural voice, she's just trying too hard for people to like her, so she's purposely trying to sound like a broadcaster. Beth Moen's more like, I'm gonna be Beth Moen's my lawn on Sunday instead if the NFL keeps this shit up. <laughs> I could I could make several jokes out the ass about oh go back to your kitchen or whatever, and uh, knowing Rex Ryan he'd probably agree with me on that. It's not that she's a woman or bullshit like that. She's genuinely fucking terrible to listen to. I wanted to just watch the game in Spanish, but I know that Daddy Donald would probably deport me. I love you. And, and just one more thing, who, who the fuck was the original sideline reporter? And why would he give the microphone to some random ass dude with Parkinson's? It's a pleasure to be with you guys here on the field from up close, just watching Coach Vance Joseph from here. You watch him now on the screen. This diversity in his background is helping him a lot tonight. Quarterback at Colorado, defensive back in the NFL. And here he is, having the time of his life. This I'm here on the, on, on the Denver Broncos sideline with the new coach, Colorado Broncos. The Von Miller b go boom for the sack for a negative gain. Uh, it is a pleasure to be on the sideline for the uh, op opening season opener. As we see Trevor Simeon, this should be a pretty good game. Okay, I'm done talking about the commentators. Beth Mullins, I swear, she must have cried at halftime when she saw the fucking tweets. Jesus Christ. Oh. Bitch trying to sound like Joe Buck's sister. But anyways, Cowboys versus Broncos playing in Denver at 3.30. My main focus in this game will be our running game, the defensive line, and the secondary, more specifically, Jordan Lewis. Now, Orlando Skandrick, as you probably could have fucking imagined, he got injured, um, you know, he fractured his hand, uh, shouldn't be too serious. They said that he was gonna be out like one or two weeks, but they did say that Jordan Lewis was expected to make his debut in this game after suffering the longest fucking hamstring injury in the history of football. Defense is coming off a monstrous fucking game after basically shutting down the New York Giants offense, only holding them to a field goal. The defensive line, they held it the fuck down last week, even without Demontre Moore or, uh, you know, David Irving. Jalen Smith and Sean Lee, holy fucking shit, I'm excited to see those two on the field together again. Also, with Orlando Skandrick's injury, it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, uh, the rookie cornerbacks come up, they're gonna have more opportunities on the field to take fucking Nolan Carroll's spot. The deciding factors in this game 
will be uh, pressure on the quarterback. Uh, we're going to contain, you know, Von Miller, make him a non-factor. Dak Prescott, how he's going to rebound from last week's disappointing performance. Thankfully, I don't think Des Bryant has any beef with any of the defensive backs that Denver has. So, let's just hope that they don't force him into the fucking game this time. So, let's see, you have how we're going to contain Von Miller, uh, you know, the running game, like I said, uh, Dak Prescott. So you have that, and if the defense can continue their dominating performance that they performed last week. This is going to be a good game, though. I'm very fucking excited. Uh, also, you have some bitch-ass Eagles fans talking shit for no reason. Apparently, Carson Wentz, he got a couple touchdowns. Uh, week one, and Dak Prescott only threw one. Holy shit. Holy, oh, whoa, holy shit, dude. Carson Wentz, did you hear? Carson Wentz, he, <laughs> he threw two touchdown passes in, in one game? That's, that's fucking crazy. Whoa, 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 wait, is, is that with or without including the pick six he threw to a fucking defensive lineman? Let's get this win, let's stay on top of the East, let's go 2-0. And then go against the Arizona Cardinals playing Monday night. By the way, David Johnson, he fucked up his wrist. He's going to be out like, what, 12 weeks or two to three months, they said. Some, some shit like that. So, this is an opportunity for us to manhandle the fucking Cardinals because I fucking hate the goddamn Cardinals. Score predictions, score predictions, score predictions, score predictions, score predictions. I will say 27 to 14, Dallas takes the win in Denver. I just feel that Dak Prescott will improve. I believe that Jalen Smith and Sean Lee will continue to fucking dominate, eliminate Denver's running game. Jordan Lewis, I have him getting an interception this week. So, that's all the time I have. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.